Hello everybody, Dan here of TrendSpider, and in this video I'm going to show you some new capabilities that we've just added to TrendSpider that relate to extended market data and how you can use it throughout the platform. So if you've used TrendSpider at all, you probably know that by clicking on the little uh, clock icon on the top left corner of your chart, you can add extended market data to your chart. And this will work on any chart that you pull up. So if you're looking at an index or a stock or anything like that, uh, you can click that button and it'll add the extended market hours to your chart. This incorporates both the pre-market session before open and the post-market or after hour session after close. So everybody knows that and everybody probably already knows that that is the extent of the um, system's ability to use extended hours data, right? You can use it on your charts, you can use it in your technical analysis, but you can't use it in the scanner or any of the other cool features in the platform. That is about to change and in a big way, and I hope that you find this useful and enjoy it. So let me show you how it works. First thing I'm gonna show you is how extended hours data works in the market scanner. So I'm gonna open the market scanner, and I'm gonna select a pre-made scan that I made to show you guys called example one here. Now you'll notice that this scan searches the S&P 500 on a candlestick chart using current candle time frame, which means that it will look at the current candle that is open as if it were closed for the purpose of comparing conditions from the scan. You'll also notice that there's a new checkbox, I checked it already, called extended hours right here. And that checkbox tells the scanner that it's okay to look at data from the extended market session when conducting the scan. So I'm gonna leave that check done. Now I wanna point out, this scanner uses uh, an indicator called RSI, I'm sure you're familiar with RSI, but it is using extended hours data. So this indicator will be computed using price data and price action that happened during extended hour sessions as well as a normal session. And that will change its appearance and levels slightly. So this scan is very simple. We're looking for an RSI to be currently above 50, and we're looking for the current 15 minute candle, which is an after hours candle, to be greater than the yesterday's um, complete daily candle by at least 3%. Very simple scan. I'm going to click the scan button and the system is going to go into the S&P 500. It's going to download the charts for every single symbol, including the 15 minute and the daily time frame, do all the comparison stuff and give me a clean watch list of any stock that matches the conditions that I've set forth in this scanner. So keep in mind when you're running a scan now, if it happens to be after the market opens or closed or before the market opens and you're looking for something like a pre-market gap or, or high volume pre-market or just strong price action pre-market or post-market, be sure to check the extended hours checkbox before you run your scan so the system knows to look at the extended hours data as well as a normal market session. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's say that we've run a scan and we like what we see and we want to be bullish on this name or maybe we want to be bearish, but let's, let's go with bullish for now, right? So one thing we can do is we can then say, okay, this um, high here at $52, if price can break above 52.80 here, then I want to be a bull, right? Um, you can also do this a little bit differently. Like let's say that you want to use a simple moving average, right? Um, because a simple moving average will, um, you know, be computed using the pre and post market data as well if you have it enabled. So maybe instead of being bullish and waiting for a breakout, um, you want to wait for a pullback. So we can create both alerts. The first one is going to be a very simple alert. We'll create one at the top here and we'll say, hey, if price gets up here, if price gets near um, this level up here, I want to know about it, right? And you'll notice that the extended hours checkbox is disabled here because this is not an indicator that's computed with extended hours. So I'm going to create that alert. I'm then also gonna create an alert on this moving average, but first I'm gonna turn on extended hours, right? So I'm gonna right click on this moving average and I'm gonna tell the system to let me know anytime price pulls back to this level. And keep in mind, this level is calculated using extended hours data, right? It's not just calculated using the primary time frame, like the other alert we just created. So you can see that this checkbox is now pre-checked for me here. And if I uncheck it, because my chart has extended hours on, but my alert has extended hours off, it's gonna add a warning to the top here to let me know that I'm looking at something different than the alert I'm about to create. So I don't want that. So I'm gonna check that box. What this tells TrendSpider is to monitor this level as if it were computed using extended hours price data. The alert won't actually fire during the extended hours session. It will fire only during the normal market hours session, 
but it will compute the indicator level using the totality of the price action, not just the price action from the primary session that it will normally do. So I'm going to create that alert here, and the system is now going to watch this level and let me know during normal market hours if price broaches it. But I want to just highlight this, right? This level is at 52.30 right now. When I turn the extended hours data off, you can see this level is now lower, right? It's at 52.20. That's because it's no longer incorporating the extended hours data when computing that indicator. So those are the two new features. You can now scan truly through extended hours charts using any conditions you can dream of. And you can incorporate extended hours data when computing indicators for the purpose of creating alerts. Um, now I want to tell you a little bit about what's coming because I know everybody's watching this video thinking, okay, that's great, but I really want my alerts to fire during extended hours as well. And I just want you to know that that is like one of the very next things that we're rolling out. This step of allowing you to incorporate extended hours data in your alerts um, and the ability to use it in your scanners was a prerequisite for firing alerts during extended hours. And one of our next updates is going to include that ability as well. So you'll not only be able to trigger alerts based on conditions computed with extended hours data, but also receive those alerts and trigger those alerts during the extended hours session as well. So with that, I'm going to drop off here. I hope that you found this informative and that you can use these new tools to become a better trader. If you have any questions or need any help or have any suggestions, please drop us a note. Hello at TrendSpider.com. That goes to our live inbox. I get a copy of everything sent to it, and we definitely, definitely read it all. So again, thank you very much, and have a great day.